Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these super simple DIY fall decorations. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're not already, make sure you go and follow me on Instagram at Unbox Designs. So for these projects, I'm going to be using two of these phone foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and then also this smaller one and then I have some candle holders here I have two of these smaller bowl ones and then two of these tea light holders they are two different sizes one's shorter one's taller obviously otherwise it wouldn't be a different size huh. and then also some glitter this is from Walmart I will also be using this rose gold metallic paint and then some Mod Podge and some white paint. You can use acrylic paint but I'm just using this leftover one and then also my bling wrap from Totally Dazzled. So I just wanted to go ahead and take these outside and spray paint them just so that they could dry. I have very little patience and I rarely wait for things to dry <laughs> all the way. I would recommend you guys wait but you know what, for the sake of the video I just went out there and spray painted all of this or what I needed to be painted and then I came back inside. I went ahead and took my white paint and then what I did was I just grabbed this round brush and stippled the paint onto the bowl uh, candle holders. And so I did one layer and then after that one I did another one. So it wasn't completely covered but it just had a little bit of a texture to it also. After painting the bowls, I went ahead and took the same brush, same stippling effect, and then took my second foam pumpkin and started painting it white. As you notice, the first pumpkin I did with the rose gold spray paint. I really wanted these bowls to look like pumpkin globes, so I took my totally dazzled bling and just cut up some strips and what I did was glue them from the top to the bottom of the globe so as you can see there I did my little strips and then I marked every spot where I wanted to put a strip of the bling wrap and then I didn't show it in the video but in between those marks I also glued another strip so it looked more of like a pumpkin effect I hope that makes sense So after the tea light holders were all dried, I turned them upside down and then I took more of that bling wrap and just put a little section of it on, around the stem. The bling wrap will last you forever and ever so it's a lot more cost effective if you buy one of these big rolls as opposed to buying the bling wrap at Dollar Tree. Trust me I love Dollar Tree but I figured out you'd spend a lot more money if you did it that way. So after gluing the globe on top of the tea light holder, I went ahead and took another strip of the bling wrap and just glued it all around the lip. So then taking my Mod Podge and that same round brush, I just did the whole dip, uh, stippling, I was going to say dippling, <laughs> stippling effect. And then I went ahead and took my glitter and just kind of like poured it over the pumpkin just where the um, Mod Podge is at. And then I did notice that some parts did not catch. So I went ahead and put some more Mod Podge on there and then uh, sprinkled it with the glitter as well. And then I did the same thing with the other pumpkin. And then, I know I said and then a lot. And actually this part I didn't show you guys to begin with because I didn't know I was going to do this. So I did take one of those packs of leaves from the Dollar Tree and then I took out the sparkliest ones that I could find and I just glued them onto the top of the pumpkin. And then again with a bling wrap, I went ahead and took a strip of it, glued it around the stem of the pumpkin to make another stem. And then I just glued it around, pinched it together and glued it and then I kind of clamped it so it would stay and that's my sparkly stem. So I actually didn't show you guys but I spray painted the smaller pumpkin as well and I'm also going to go ahead and take some of my bling wrap and then just and then and then and then I keep saying and then <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and glue it right in between every single crease on the pumpkin top this off with another one of those leaves and that is it you guys these were super simple and super quick to make I really like the end result I love how sparkly the pumpkins look you know what I wasn't all into the glam stuff but I'm kind of slowly creeping into it and I really really loved how these pumpkin globes looked like 
or how they look, especially once you put the candles in there and you light them. That's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. I would love it if you guys gave me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!